Uh, how's it going everybody? Cameron here is Canadian Gamer coming at you with another video. Any of you guys following the Kane Velasquez situation? That is some fucked up shit, let me tell you. Good fucking lord. Anyways, we won't go any further in on that. I've got some exciting news here today. And believe it or not, I think this is a first for the channel. Well... We've talked about the Amico before on this channel, but I've got some in television. Not news, but I've got a pickup here. And I found it tonight at the pawn shop for $5. I've never seen this in the wild before. I picked up in television lives for the original Xbox. And this is CIB, complete in box, and it's got 60 games in one. And not only that, this version, which was released on the PS2, the original Xbox, and the GameCube in 2004, it's also got, I think it's got some homebrews on here, or some unreleased games that never came out for the original in television back in the day. I, I gotta look into it a little bit more. I haven't played it yet. Guys, I've been busy the last couple of days. <laughs> the Xbox version is backwards compatible with the xbox 360 so you know i know there's a lot of crazy batshit bullshit going on with the amico right now i'm not going to get into it uh i'm not even going to really put it in the uh, the title of this video because i don't want to be uh you know lumped in with the smash jt's and uh you know all the other guys that are posting Amico videos, which seems like hourly at this point. <laughs> but yeah, you could you could make the argument that this this compilation is a better bang for your buck than an Intellivision Amico. Because an Amico, at least in Canada here, if it comes out, it's gonna retail for almost four hundred dollars Canadian. Whereas I paid $5 for this disc. It's got 60 games on it. It includes couch co-op. You can play two players. You might be able to play three or four. I don't know. It's backwards compatible. And the games, for the most part, appear to be either uh, the original versions of these games. Or a few of them might have been prototypes before the official games were launched due to copyright reasons. So... You know, when you're dealing with IPs like Intellivision and uh, Atari, a lot of times there's always legal wranglings involved that prevent certain games from being included in their uh, eau de natural state, if you will. <laughs> so that's it. I think it's pretty exciting. I've, full disclosure, I've never played an Intellivision game in my life. I've never played the console as before my time. I'm kind of excited about this, to be honest with you. I know these games are very rudimentary. They're very basic. But for someone like me who's never, ever played any of these games before, and I've got over 60 of them now at my disposal, this is kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. So, <laughs> so it's not an Amico, but it's the next best thing. And some may even argue this is better than an Intellivision Amico. So there you have it. Thought I was done with the original Xbox, but I don't think it's ever going to be done. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Until next time, thanks so much for watching. Have a good night.